Hey guys, welcome to another episode on my channel. So, a few episodes ago I mentioned the pulse in function. But I never took proper time in order to explain that function in details. And that is a very useful function. And it has three arguments. First argument it's actually input pin. Second argument it's a state that we are listening for. And third argument it's timeout in microseconds. So what is the purpose of this function? To measure intervals uh, when state changes. And return value is going to be in microseconds too. So for example, if you set second argument to high, then you have to set listening pin to low before measurement starts. Then initial state of your listening pin needs to be low. And when that state turns to high, a function pulsing measures a length of interval in microseconds before state changes to low again. And if there is no proper change before we hit timeout, function pulse in is going to return zero. So for this project we are going to uh, use my uh, ESP8266 microcontroller as a listener and we are going to use this uh, Arduino Uno uh, development board uh, to send signal. And only thing that we need is uh, these two microcontrollers and these two wires. So first I am going to connect ground to ground. It's here in order to reference uh, voltage and now I'm going to connect uh, pin 7 from Arduino Uno. From here we are actually going to uh, send the signal and listening pin is going to be D4 on ESP8266 and basically that's it. So now let's go to coding and at the end we are going to test this project. Okay, once again, I'm going to use uh, Visual Studio Code uh, for this solution. And of course, you are free to use any IDE that you like. And I've created these two projects, test and send signal. Send signal is, of course, going to uh, be code for uh, sending signal. And uh, test, we are going to install on uh, ESP8266 in order to uh, read for incoming signal. Okay, and uh, so now in this document, uh, we are doing uh, send signal. So we are dealing uh, with Arduino Uno microcontroller. As I said, we are going to use pin 7 as trigger and we need uh, one long variable interval. I'm going to set it to 1000, so 1 millisecond. Then I'm going to set pin mode for trigger to output because we are going to send signal using this pin and now first thing that I'm going to do I'm going to do digital write and for pin trigger I'm going to set it to low then I'm going to make delay of 5 milliseconds meaning uh, 5000 uh, microseconds uh, and now after that digital write again to pin trigger and now high so why we are doing this? We are uh, setting initial value uh, for uh, reading pin to low and then when we turn our trigger to high we are going to wait interval divided by 1000. Then we are going to write low once again and we are going to rise value of interval by 1000. So ideally we are uh, setting initial value to low in order for our reading pin to be ready to start measuring. Then we are writing digital uh, write, so we are uh, writing high and that is going to last at the beginning uh, one millisecond. And why I actually did this interval uh, divided by 1000? Because interval is expressed in uh, microseconds uh, and delay function uh, takes uh, milliseconds as argument. Immediately after that we are setting our trigger to low and we are rising value of interval by 1000. 
Once again, ideally, we should uh, receive a value uh, bigger by 1000 uh, per every iteration. And if that is done, first I'm going to select my project. It's ESP uh, send signal. All right. Now I'm going to connect my Arduino board to my computer in order to upload this piece of code. But first I'm going to build it. All right, and now I'm going to upload it. All right, this is done. I'm going to disconnect my Arduino Uno uh, from my computer. And now we are going to deal uh, with the code for our ESP8266. In here, first we have to include wire library and we need to declare our pin is going to be d4 okay i'm going to initialize serial monitor with baud rate of 9600 and we have to set pin mode for this pin to input all right now we are going to have long value name weight uh, and we are going to use function pass in as i said on pin pin we are going to wait for value high and i'm going to uh, set timeout to so five millions microseconds okay and we are going to print wait out now i'm going to connect my esp8266 microcontroller i have to change project it's esp test okay i'm going to build this right now all right and now i'm going to upload it okay i'm going to remove this uh, ground pin because it looks like that my arduino takes too much power and i'm going to try once again okay now it works but actually before we go to testing it might be actually better to change this print to print ln it's going to be easier to follow uh, values when we start readings i'm going to uh, build this again and i'm going to upload this to my microcontroller all right now you should be able to see my microcontrollers too my esp8266 it's uh, connected uh, but arduino uno has no power uh, at this moment so what i'm going to do first i'm going to start my uh, serial monitor for esp8266 okay we are receiving nothing but we should start seeing zeros okay so we are going to receive zeros uh meaning one zero per uh, every five seconds all right and now what i'm going to do i'm going to connect uh, my arduino uno uh to power so what is important for you to understand now if you have uh, two boards connected to different power supplies uh, you have to uh, reference ground but in this case both uh, my ESP8266 and Arduino Uno are uh, connected to my uh, laptop computer so they are getting their ground referenced through my computer power supply Therefore, additional connecting ground between uh, these two uh, microcontrollers is absolutely not necessary, but I'm going to do it anyway. Finally, if you look my serial monitor, you are going to see that we are getting uh, values bigger by 1000 per every iteration.
So this project ended successfully.